Good day, guys. So um, we'll be talking about uh, how to rotate this character in this um, tutorial here. Now, someone actually asked a question about uh, this: uh, how to actually rotate a character within the 3D scene using visual scripting. So um, we we'll just go ahead to do that right now. So if you actually go back to your scripts. Um, here you actually see that I made it to move normally. So if you look at here, when we play this game, you can be able to move forward. In case you have not watched the first uh, tutorial, so move forward or backwards. Okay, so left or right. So now the question is, what about if you want to rotate? So the first thing you're going to do if you go to your scripting, so I'm going to disconnect this. Uh, there's my left and my right movement, so I want them to rotate when I do that. So I'm going to delete this now. I don't need it any longer. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my vector for rotation. So the fastest way I've found that uh, will do this for you is just click from here, drag in here, and type vector. Okay, this is very important. If you don't do this, way, you might be a bit confused later. Sorry, uh, rotate, not vector. Rotate. So, but you're going to use the vector three rotation. Okay. So I hope you got that. So rotate and click on open. So we'll have this. Now if you look at this, it has the player. So this is the player rotation. So it's rotating based on the axis of the player. Okay. So I'm going to connect this to this. Now the standard here is that this uh, value here for the, the, the axis is that this should be 1. So if you look at here, I'm going to put 1. So the one is the y axis because the y axis is the vertical axis. So it's going to be rotating either left or right. Okay. So right now the left moving towards the left. This if I rotate left, this is left. And in Godot engine, the left is actually anti-clockwise, but it's actually the positive value. So if I say 30, it means it goes this way. If I say minus 30, that means it goes that way. Right. <clears throat> so I'm going to come in here. So I'm just going to put one. Now don't put any other value. I've not found any other value that works well apart from one. If you put another value, it's not going to work. So it might not work. So if I click here now, uh, I'm going to use 0 0.05. Okay. So that will give you a smoother uh, animation or rotation. So if you go for something like one, it's going to be a bit very very fast. So. We won't have time you can test run that on yourself and see what it looks like 0.05 that's uh, depending on your scene anyway so i'm just going to go out to test this so you actually see what's happening here so if i press my left i see this is my left and i can be able to rotate right now so but there's a problem if i rotate if i move forward i can move forward right if i rotate now it's still moving on the same axis i want you to move towards this axis or towards this side i want to move towards the edge of this place so i can't do that it's still moving forward so to be able to correct that you have to do something a second thing so you go to your parent node even if you even if uh, your player uh, is actually um um let's say uh, an instance here okay it has its own scene and you just brought in here uh, it brought it in here if you look at my own i don't have a, a particular scene for the player i just be here or even if it's a scene on its own and it's associated here, you can always get to the parent node. So whatever is the parent node, if it's a special or if it's something, the, the parent node of the, the scene where the 3D is actually working. So if this is where the 3D is actually going around, the, 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 the parent node for the entire scene, you just go to it and you're going to get the vector rotation. So because you want it to rotate according to the, the axis, in that particular uh, wall so i'm going to get this rotation too so local transformation around the axis so i'm going to select that now if you look at here when you click here you see that here the node part is on the player while the node part here is related is actually to the parent here okay the, the root node or the root node of the entire um, scene okay so now i'm going to select this and put it there now remember for your axis it's going to still be y just put one there now here uh, there is a bit of um, the way it actually works is that you have to actually uh, sort of negate the value if you actually put uh, 0 
0.05 so that it will turn on the same as this and let's see what happens here if i right click and play a game if i rotate i move it's moving the other way around okay it's actually as if it's uh, depending on, on the way the, the axes are i think uh, the world and this doesn't really you have actually uh, like um, negate them or to make them alternate themselves i don't know how to actually say that so but if you click here and put minus at, at the front okay so if the if this is positive then this guy should be negative that's the whole idea i'm trying to portray so if i do that now you can just rotate and you move forward okay you can rotate and you move forward that's how you actually rotate your character so now let's do the other rotation the other rotation i'll just select this i'll hold control and select both of them control d to duplicate so i won't have to do it again okay so but in case you are you are confused uh let me do that once more drag this in here rotate and i will just pull this one in here and i'll still do my one but this time around i'm going to do minus 0 0.05 because it's actually uh this is going to be rotating this way it's going to be rotating that way and this clockwise is actually negative it has a negative value inside the dot engine so i'm going to go ahead drag this one in and rotate again vector tree so i'm going to drop this inside here and remember here will be one and here like i said you negate this particular one so i'm going to do 0 0.05 okay so that's the simple code here so i'll just go ahead and test it out so you see how it works so i can simply rotate go forward rotate this way okay uh okay i think there is a code error there um let me see what do okay i made a mistake here look at that 0 0.05 enter okay that was that was an error there so forward rotates go this way so you can go i'm moving left right left right left right left so you can actually move through your scene and create an awesome very uh, awesome looking scene here so i i believe you actually got that uh so that's just the entire way of being able to rotate a character you can move this one is for moving you can actually see that in my first video for character uh, movement so this one is all how to rotate the character but thanks for listening and you can subscribe for more videos and uh, if you have any other question you can just chat me you can put it in the comment and i'll respond as soon as i can so i hope the person that asked the question you got what you wanted if there is more clarifications that you need just uh, put it on the comments below thank you